Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install and use the Bicyc Toasting Overwolf app. This app allows you to edit server settings without using a web browser and also allows for a console overlay so that you can edit the server while playing Minecraft. First, we are going to go to the Bicyc Toasting Overwolf website, which I will have linked in the description. From here, we will choose the red download button. Once that's downloaded, we can choose the .exe file, which will automatically install the Bicyc Toasting Overwolf app if you have Overwolf installed. If you don't have Overwolf installed, I will have a link in the description to a tutorial going over how to do so. Once the app is installed, we will see this menu. We have the Create New Server button, which you can go into creating a new server. We have the Billing Panel, where you can log into your Billing Panel and check things directly from the app. We have the Support Options, which allows you to create new tickets, as well as access our Knowledge Base. We have the Premium and Budget Control Panels to log into those respectively. And then finally, we have the Console Overlay, which you can use in-game. When you go into the Create a New Server button, you will be asked various questions to try to suggest a server for you that would allow your server to run efficiently. The last screen will suggest a perfect plan for you, but if you would like to change that plan, you can move the slider to a different plan and choose Order Plan, which will take you directly to our website to purchase this server. Next, we can choose the Billing Panel button. And when you choose this, it'll take you directly to our main web page. We can choose account settings and login, which will then take us to our billing panel. Next, we have our support options button, which will allow you to go into the my support tickets, which will have all the list of tickets that you've created previously. We can choose the new support ticket option if we have an issue and would like support's help. Lastly, we can choose the knowledge base and search the knowledge base to see if we have the answer to our question there. Next on our menu are the premium and budget control panel options. We can choose these and log in to our control panel to access all of the files directly from this app. This allows us to make changes on the app directly and not have to worry about being logged in through the website. Lastly, and one of the most important features of this app is the console overlay. Using this console overlay, we can be playing Minecraft while having the console overlay in game. This window can easily be moved and dragged in game by just grabbing the window and moving it to where we would like. You can also close this menu by typing Alt and C together. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.